Howdy, howdy, Justin. So my 2022 predictions, little fun ones, some serious ones, but let's have some fun with it. Let's check it out. Number one, Bill Belichick. The Patriots are not going to win another Super Bowl. I'm very saddened by that, but realistically, I think who we're gonna get, surprisingly, is going to be the Tennessee Titans versus our main man that's had plenty of them. Even Tom surprised. <laughs> He's like, oh, really? Yeah, I think uh, they find a way again to overcome the uh, Green Bay Packers playing to the Super Bowl. And then I think it's number eight, baby. And puts it on the finger again. I know, nobody wants to see that. I'm okay with it, but I get it. But I think the man gets number eight. Number two, inflation. It's gonna to continue to be an issue. It's gonna get worse. You need to get into tangible assets. Inflation's gonna to continue to be a problem, so pay attention to it. Although, what's gonna be funny is the Fed and all the people are gonna start rearranging the CPI index and how it's calculated further to where they're gonna make it look like inflation's not a problem. You're gonna fill it in your pocketbook and you're gonna know it. And that's all that really matters. You know, with all due respect, screw what the government says, right? Tangible assets, this kicks on to the inflation issue. Tangible assets, tangible assets, tangible assets. Cash is absolute trash. It's completely pointless. If you owned it in your bank account last year in 2021, you actually lost 6.8%, right? Based on the, and that's just their inflation rate. It was really 13 or 14%, but let's presume it's 6.8. You lost 6.8% for your money sitting in the bank. Cash trash, say bye-bye. So that goes bye-bye. You need to get into tangible assets, real estate, NFTs, crypto, you gotta look into the metaverse, you gotta try and understand these. These all kind of work together here, guys, between the metaverse, the uh, cryptos, the NFTs, all of that stuff, the 5G, AR, VR, AI technologies, all the stuff's coming together. It's gonna be rapid what's gonna happen in the next two to five years. So pay close attention to that stuff, get educated, get into it now and understand it. All your commodities, your oils, your gold, your bullions, your, all your physical tangible assets that you can attach to fixed rate debt that's where you're gonna win in 2022. COVID, we're now going into year three. <laughs> Everybody's like, when is it gonna end? Honestly, it's gonna end when the media stops talking about it. And number two, it's really gonna end, if you look at all the data and the science, and I wanna get it too much into this, but look, over 72% of the US general population is fully vaccinated. Over 92% plus of the high risk population who we care about most in protecting is fully vaccinated. We know that the vaccines don't stop the spread or stop you from getting COVID. They simply lessen the infection, which is good, right? But realistically, at this point, we're using the herd slash vaccine approach, which is ultimately, you know, option three where viruses move through society. At this point, everyone's getting it. And realistically, everyone should be getting it. And the best one to get right now is Omicron, as we know, because it's you know, more subdued. And because you're vaccinated, because of all these other things, you have natural immunity, all of these things, it's gonna help allow the virus to move through society and all the hosts and everybody. And that way, at the end of the day, we all have some natural immunity built in along with the vaccinations. And that combo of herd and vaccine is gonna get us through this thing. But ultimately, the media needs to stop. It's time to move on. Stop talking about every single day media when cases go up. Stop talking about it every day when we have a new variant mutation. There's gonna be hundreds of mutations and variations we gotta stop. That's my little rant, number four. But everyone's getting it. It's still gonna play a role this year, but it shouldn't. It should start to really move its way through because everybody's gonna get it. And you're gonna have some natural immunity in combination with the vaccine. So let's see what happens. Last but not least, in the fun one, <laughs> Kanye and Kim, you know, they're divorced, but I think they're getting back together. Kanye bought a house. I know I'm probably reading into it across the street from where Kim lives. I don't know, I'm jumping out on a limb. I think they get back together. What do you say? So those are my predictions for 2022. Hope you're having a little bit of fun. Take care, go to our website, subscribe, like, comment. We'll talk to you soon, take care.